Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Now, this morning I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Tolly's LexisNexis. This is in their series of taxation titles and they are now producing an annual uh, title in the main tax areas. And the one I'm looking at at the moment is Tolly's Estate Planning 2014 to 15. Now, my wife Elizabeth and I have written a review of this excellent book, and we're going to have a look at the book first before we talk about the review. This is the book with a nice purple cover. There we are, there's the front of it, the spine, and then the back. It's been written by Sharon McKee and Simon McKee of McKee & Co, Advisory Services LLP. And it gives a few little quotes about the book there. It's a paperback, it's not that heavy, 714 pages, big index at the back, very much in the, the Lexis style, house style, for uh, a detailed index. I found it extremely helpful um, because obviously what we've got here with the index is um, an easy to read statement of, of what to find. Obviously the references to paragraph numbering, I'll get onto that. We look at the main work itself. I'm actually looking at making a will here. Um, you can see the paragraph numbering at the sides there and then little subheads. So it's relatively easy to find. You've also got examples. Again, a bit of the old um, um, finances coming out of this and the calculations. Uh, but the book itself, I think, is extremely helpful as you run through it. Um, there are various very useful practical guides as to uh, how to use the book, uh, the actual books themselves. They don't have, let's look at chapter 8 on insurance. There isn't any chapter heading at the front, indexing or anything like that. But there are a lot of examples. So the McKees have produced this in their own way, and it's actually a very useful book. I'm going to mention a couple of things now, which are, again, which are slightly different from some of the other titles. The inside back cover, you've got a bit of advertising, just to help, help, um, Tollies, there we go, same with the front. That's the actual front cover, if you like. And about the authors, the two of them. One's a solicitor, the other's a barrister, so a nice mixture there. A short preface just to explain what they were up to, dated the 4th, 1st of August 2014. I'm recording this in December 2014, after the annual statement, so not a great deal to add to it. There's the contents, it's slightly different again. What is estate planning? It starts off with it. And then you've got quite a lot of detail in the various chapters. You can see those there, rushing through that a little bit. Again, you can see that there. Then you've got the statutes are at the front in this one, not the back. Saturday instruments likewise. And then the cases, not that many, but quite a few, just so useful. Then we go straight into what is estate planning. So it's a slightly different way in which this has been done, but again, a very valuable book in its own way. And estate planning, planning um, as we're going to look at, look into now, is an important area for everybody. We're all earning a bit more money than we used to, and we've all got assets. So we've got to think about how we plan for the future, whether we like it or not. Now we've given it the title, Private Client Taxation, Expert Advice from Tollies for 2014 to 15. And this is what we say. Practitioners charged with the responsibilities of private client taxation will welcome this, the latest of Tolly's um, edition of Tolly's estate planning for 2014 to 15. And it's published by um, Tolly's LexisNexis and it's been updated to include the Finance Act 2014 and the Inheritance and Trustees Powers Act of 2014. Now, just with the Finance Act alone, that will be the last main piece of legislation before the general election in May 2015. So we've got six or seven months now before anything probably happens, and we, we have to wait and see. So we've got this excellent book, which will assist us for that, um, that particular time period. And it's a guide which is distinguished for its clarity and straightforward, common sense approach to what is invariably a complex subject involving often sensitive financial matters concerning families and family resources. A science and an art is how the authors, uh, Sharon and Simon P, describe estate planning, adding that it is 
not merely a subdivision of tax planning, as it entails a continuing programme, ideal on a bespoke basis, of forward planning to preserve, protect and evolve family wealth. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of the views of successive governments to tax people. So we've got here some plans which will help you maintain and preserve the wealth that you have within your own family. And it's every person's right to do so, as long as you don't start committing any offences. We'll get on to that in a minute. The need for estate planning is not necessarily confined, therefore, to the seriously rich anymore, if you think about it, because there are a lot of people with quite substantial assets today as homeowners and so forth. The book, therefore, is aimed at imparting tax planning techniques to those who advise anyone who owns significant assets. I say tax planning techniques and advisors, so it's not just accountants and barristers and solicitors. It's a much wider area of people involved in the whole financial advice sector, if I can use it in that general term. Now, what we've got here is when I say significant assets of, that they would have within their own family unit, it's from the moderately prosperous to the substantially wealthy to the very rich. So it covers quite a wide range of people, bearing in mind that not all techniques are appropriate at every level of wealth. The two authors, the McKees, both acknowledged experts in this field run a consultancy which has won several awards, including Best Consultancy Team in 2012, and the Society of Trust and Estate Practitioners awarded it the Bouquet uh, Bou Firm of the Year. Sorry, Boutique Firm of the Year. I'll get that right in the end. I'll say that again, the Boutique Firm of the Year. That was an accolade in 2009 to 2010. And it was also shortlisted for the same award in 2013, Boutique Firm of the Year. So that's an interesting way of giving them some recognition for what is actually a very good book. The book has been completely updated to reflect the considerable volume of change to tax legislation pertaining to estate planning that's emerged in this period of rapid change within what the authors refer to as a hostile environment for many a taxpayer. And it's quite obvious from the various uh, politicians' utterances that you can see the way in which they're thinking as we get to the election of, of what they're going to try to do in terms of perhaps additional taxation to pay for public services and so on. So you've got to look at it from that point of view and then think about what you can remember, preserve, protect and evolve for your own family wealth. That's where they come in. Fortunately, as I say, help is at hand here with over the 700 pages of this particular book. Throughout the work, there are 23 chapters and the full spectrum of estate planning uh, issues are covered. That includes trusts, insurance, pensions, international mobility, post-death planning and much more. I think it's important to note as well the hypothetical case study at the back of the book, which is more or less a how-to exposition of the advantage of careful planning throughout a fairly typical life. We've, I would hasten that we've reviewed this before and we've had this example before and it's very, very useful because if you're in giving advice, and we're not talking about contentious litigation here, we're just talking about advice, um, that sort of thing would be extremely helpful. As you um, would expect, the book contains more than 30 pages of tables of statutes, cases and statutory instruments. And to facilitate navigation, there are numbered paragraphs throughout and a useful index, which is at the back. And I say that's very much based on the, the house style of LexisNexis. And if you use Hornsbury, you'll know how to use it quite quickly. It's detailed, and actually that's the quickest way, if you're doing legal research, of finding something. And I, I found it quite helpful. This is certainly a prime example of an authoritative work of reference that would be as useful to the general reader as it is to the specialist practitioner. And the publication date, as I mentioned earlier, is cited at the 1st of August 20. 14. I have actually produced uh, this review at the end of the year. Um, it's December. That's the book again. 700 pages. It's actually quite light. Just over 700. 704 pages on. Index at the back. Just going to the right in the middle. Partnerships. Sole proprietors. 
11.30 paragraph number there. And as I say, you've got um, a very useful detail. There are no footnotes, by the way, in this. So it's all in the body copy of the paragraphs themselves. And some of the paragraphs are relatively short. That's on insurance. You can see there. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer. And as I say, the, the working examples are extremely helpful. This is um, right at the back. A lifetime of, of planning a case study. OK, I mentioned that. And it go, runs all the way through. Very useful, especially in this day and age where there are a lot more people who've got a lot more money. Now, I would say one last thing, and that is that's going to continue. So estate planning is not something that's just sort of mere transitory information. It's actually here to stay because more and more people are going to have more money. And they've got to start thinking about what to do with the assets, especially on death, and to have that planning. So thank you to, to the McKees and thank you very much to LexisNexis and Tollis. These books are invaluable for our practice and I'm very grateful that you produce them still. Thank you very much. Bye bye.